gonna pick some paint up and then I'm gonna go and do a piece. It's getting late, but should be alright. It's a bit wet, I might have to look for somewhere indoors. I'm sure there'll be somewhere I can find. Just notice it quickly this morning. Just a little something, something. The outlines I've sketched over the last week or so I've either done or grown tired of and uh, if something comes up where I need to paint then I'm going to need a new drawing to work from. As I'm drawing this outline I'm already seeing places where it's gone wrong. I mean this letter I here is meant to come and fit behind the V there but I've marked the top in now so I can't do that so I'm essentially already going to have to draw it again. I might as well stop now but I'll continue just for the practice. Fucking red room. It's the right colours. Pastel outline or something. Reds and oranges. <coughs> what was it? Three cans of alcohol. Five alcohol, two alcohol, alcohol, two alcohol. Excuse the state of the place. I wasn't expecting guests. <laughs> We're looking at um, my my personal collection of paint at the minute as it stands. Um, this brand specifically, uh, Montana, is the the Spanish the Spanish brand, and uh, it's very popular for for coverage for base fills for your pieces because it, it covers well, it can cover quickly and as you can see the colours are very vivid. This brand here, Belton, is an American brand and um, as it says on the cans is uh, used for art and not vandalism. That in a sense is a, a disclaimer for the, the makers yep. because this can is used for vandalism all over the world. But um, these, are, these are renowned for being quite precise lines. What I prefer even, even more so than the Belton is the it is again made by the Spanish brand, but this is a, a low pressure can and uh, is used for getting very fine lines. And there I have different types of aliens. This is a, a shadow yellow colour used for a very, very light effect. Um, also, car paints such as a stone chip shield for going straight over wet silver or gold. This is good for doing something very quick and quite defined. Here are some very cheap car paints, probably as little as a pound a can. It's good for very quick and quick things that you're not too fussed about. Here again, quite popular car paints, which are which are nice, all quite cheap and easy to pick up. This is a very old traditional brand, Cradon. I keep that more of um, for keepsakes rather than for actually using. And then inks for pens. Uh, this is an Italian ink, Grog, which is particularly difficult to remove. Uh, popular ink on the run, hard to buff ink. It's not actually that hard, but. Uh, some brake fluid to mix with things so that they don't come off. Some turps. Always very wise to keep all of that in case things go a bit wrong, which they sometimes do. Say if you were going to go and paint a train that was going to go straight into service, you would get as little as five minutes to do your work. So as long as you can, as long as you can work to a certain standard, the paint will keep at that standard. You know, you just have to simplify your work and prepare your colours very well. You know, things have to be marked if it's going to be dark. Things have to be shaken and kept at the right temperature so that the paint won't give any kind of grief when you get to the place. It helps if you'd have your caps, your nozzles already selected and on the cans ready to go. It would help also if you'd already had your gloves in place and everything was ready if you've got your camera turned on so that was the situation to turn sour, you could still then get a photograph and leave in time. Morals and ethics, you know, you just, it's about 
have a respect for, for what you do. Um, as much as you go out and don't go over a piece that's better than yours or respect the fact that somebody's already done a spot and that that's theirs and not yours to take, mm -hmm. you just respect, you know, you do have respect for the public in a sense. And mm -hmm. I know people might find that very hard to believe who aren't involved in graffiti, but it is there, you know. But again, I can't, I can't speak for everybody because there's a lot of different characters in graffiti. You know, there's, there's kids from as young as ten year old to as to as old as forty year old blokes. You know, still doing it, and people from all walks of life. You know. This is the marking up stage of doing a piece. Um, it's hard to distinguish because I'm going over somebody else's piece. Normally, you would prepare the background first, but because we're running out of time and. We're in the least desirable of uh, situations. I'm just going straight over. I've just marked up in a yellow because I'm not going to need much of that can, so I can afford to waste it to marker. This is just the base fill of my piece. Prime colour. I'm going to be doing uh, be doing it quite simply because we don't have a lot of time. I suppose it is an art form in the sense that it's expressive and in the sense that um, you can't go into graffiti as much as the public may assume as a thoughtless process. It takes a lot of, a lot of planning even for the littlest of work and you need to, that level of planning and the thought you put into any kind of movement is in itself expression and that's in itself an art form. The word art's opened a debate quite heavily because of its nature. I suppose, yeah, I would, I would classify graffiti as an art form. It's fairly clear, you know, to, to most people, I would think. Trying to justify it as an art form is different, but in my own personal opinion, yeah, definitely. Underline the wrong place, so this all out. Paint back over it with the colour that's below it. It's a technique called cutting back, but really that's just making it bend in a mistake. I like music as much as I like graffiti and I like you know cinema and poetry all these sort of things as much as they won't directly influence the way I put a line on a wall influence the way you know you act and the way you see the world so everything's influences you know Gonna come 